What's up guys, my name's Cooper, and welcome back to Be A GM Mode, episode 17. Yeah, 17, with the Arizona Coyotes. Um, in the last episode, we just did the draft in the offseason, and we simulated it up to before the first game of the preseason. Um, I was looking at some comments, and not some comments, but mostly um, other videos to see people who they're getting. And um, not calendar, Oop, my bad, everybody. But there's one player I kind of want to get. And it, we can just do a full-on trade. So I'm actually going to be trading um, away uh, Ribeiro. And we're also going to get rid of um, this one other player. I forgot who we're getting rid of. It's, uh, oh yeah, it's going to be uh, Jace Harlock. Uh, he was He's a good pickup, but we don't need another center playmaker, in my opinion, because we're going to go grab one right now who will finish off the year for us. So um, Mike Ribeiro and not Chris Summers. I did Harlock. So Jace Harlock and uh, Mike Ribeiro. Now, who are we trading him for exactly? Well, he's on Winnipeg, and it's going to be none other than um, Mark Shel Shelfie. Shelfie. Uh, I really want another playmaker that's young, just like Huberdeau. He's the same age as Huberdeau, and also as um, Yakupov. And I this will go through. So Ribeiro and Jace Harlock for Shelfie. Now, I also want to see if I can actually get a second, not even a second, maybe like a fourth round draft pick with this. But first, I'm not going to press my luck. I'm going to try a second. So let's see if this will go through. It will not go through. So let's try a fourth. All right, let's just take it all out. That did not go through. Huh. I thought it would go through, because it went through before. Um, who else did I give up? Did I was, Oh, I gave up a third-round draft pick. So this is what I gave up, guys, for uh, Shilfy. And I think it'll end up working, right? No. Did not. Um, Alright. That. Here, how about Wartherspoon? You need Wartherspoon, and how about... Was it Chapur I gave up? I don't remember, boys. Ah, my bad. Um... Why can't you accept it? Because of the cap. Alright, how about we get rid of that? How about Wartherspoon? And, um, how about McIntyre? Alright, how about Bishop? Ah, uh, I totally forgot who I gave up. Did I give up these three? I'm trying to remember, actually. Because this would go through usually, but I don't know why it's not going through now. Let's see. But you have traded far too off. How? How is it off? Unless I didn't give up Harlock and I gave up someone else. Let us see. We have... No, we're not giving Captain and up. Yeah, no, 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 no. We just gave rid of... I swear, we only got rid of uh, Harlock. Or was it Trechikov? Left-wing playmaker. Who was... I feel like they have the same, so I don't get who I gave up. Huh. Does not make any sense whatsoever. Um, hmm. Hold on a second, boys. Let's see what we got here. So we got Ribeiro and ha Harlock. All right, that should go through, but... All right, how about... No, no Huberto. If we give up a second-round draft pick, that'll definitely go through, I feel like. So Ribeiro, Hayes, Jace Harlock, and a second-round pick for uh, Mark Shelfie. Will this go through? It will not. That is so weird. Alright, so I'm giving up a third, and then we're also just going to give up, um... No. Alright, how about Malak and, um, another player that we don't want? How about Jenkins? Huh. Why won't this go through? If I, I don't want to get rid of a lot of... Uh, I didn't get rid of Jace Harlock. I got rid of someone else. And its name is Carlson. 
So it should be Ribeiro Carlson third round. And then uh, no, none of these guys. But I'll put in Jenkins still. Yes. See, now it'll go through. I forgot it wasn't... I didn't give up hard luck in this deal. I did give up, however, hard luck in another deal. But I totally forgot which one that is. So we are not going to go for any more. But we're gonna also going to trade. Um, I want a first-round draft pick this year. I want to see if we can get a good goalie. So um, I usually... Let's see it. Because usually the Dallas Stars aren't doing that great. And we can probably get it. Um... It's not that big of a trade value as of now. Let us see if we can grab it. So, um, we could get rid of, um, like Ekman Larson or Yandel or somewhere around there. But I want to get rid of, um, let's get rid of, I want to get rid of uh, Alue, Ollie. Um, because Ollie, he's good, but I'm going to have, I have a plan. So I'm going to bring him up. See, Ollie and that, that's almost there. And then I also want to get rid of another player who's also on our second line um, right wing spot. And it's none other. I just passed him. Vibrata. I am going to get rid of Vibrata. He declined starting this year, so I kind of want to get rid of him as fast as possible. So that will definitely go through. Now I just got to get two nobodies. So, um... Oh, let's do people they want to get rid of. Well, they want to get rid of Danny Briere, who has one year left. Um, he could definitely play on the third line right now for us, or the second line if need be. And he could also just replace uh, Vibrata. So let's get Danny Briere. Well, this, yeah. Hopefully this will go through. I have a feeling it will, so let's see. Will it go through? Yes, it will. I am happy to accept this proposal on the behalf of the Dallas Stars. We consider it a done deal. All right, boys. We just gave up two key players, but we got a first-round draft pick, so hopefully we can get a great goalie in this upcoming draft, which I'm banking on as much as possible. So uh, let's go to edit lines and see what we got here. So let us see. Um, Adam Erne, he's a left wing. So let us put you... On the no, let's put you where you're supposed to be as a left winger, with um, Glenn Cross. Now let us put in um, our newly Shelfie, Shafee, and then we'll also just grab um, Briere, who we just picked up. So that's gonna be our team as of now: um, Kutinskov, Huberto, Yakupov, Erne, Shelfie, Glenn Cross, Fraser, McLaren, Moss, Briere. Then we have uh, Smithson, McMillan, and Chapura. Nah, I really don't want Chapura, actually. Uh, let's see if we have any other fourth liners that we can put up here. Um, let us actually check to see if we have anyone in the system that could be a uh, first round. Uh, see, also, I want to bring up Danny Urban, actually. Uh, should I bring up Danny Urban? I have a feeling I should bring up Danny Urban. I am going to bring up Danny Urban. He will, um, I want to test something out this year. Then, let us see, who else should we bring up? But I don't think we can bring anyone else up as of now. Um, if you guys have also have noticed, if you guys have been watching the videos, I also, use, my mic is better. I don't know why, what the whole deal is with, um, the whole, uh, I don't know, like it only came out of one ear, which is really weird. Um, I apologize for that. It only came out of the left ear, it felt like. So I'm using my old Turtle Beaches, which are not uh, wireless. So hopefully this problem never happens again. So let us see here. I'm sorry, boys. I'm just going to try to figure out where to put these players. Um, so we're going to put a new center. Let us put... All right. Let us do a Kutenskov here. So Kuznetsov will play the left wing with Huberto in the middle with Yakupov, Yandel, and Gormley. I feel that'll be good. Now Kuznetsov cannot play both, so let's put in. Um, how about Glenn Cross, Erne, and Shelfie? That'll work. Actually, no, we're not going to put in Glenn Cross. We're gonna actually going to put in. Um, not Urban. Where is he? We're going to put back in uh, McMillan where he deserves. We're just going to put him right there. So we're going to have a playmaker and two uh, two way forwards. 
Then we're going to have Ekman, Larson, and Stone. We're not going to actually have Stone anymore. Um, I'm going to try something out, and I am going to put uh, Danny Urban. Denny Urban. Right? That's his name? Denny. Yeah, Denny Urban. Uh, he's not the greatest, like I said, but his shot is so good that I wonder how he got so many um, assists is that he shoots it on net and then the people just tip it in. So that's how he gets all the assists. So hopefully I'm just going to bank on that as of now. So our four-man power play is going to be Huberto and uh, Yakupov. And then our next one will be um, Shelfie and uh, McMillan. I want to see if I can get McMillan all the way up there because he is a 25. I want to see when his final um, category is because he has decent shooting and decent skating. He has a 90 discipline, which is really nice, so he might become a fourth liner, but we will just see. Uh, actually, he doesn't need to be on the first, second one. It'll be Kunzkov and Shelfie with uh, Yakupov and Huberto, I feel like. And then, um, yeah, he'll be on the, let's put him on the power play, that's for sure. And we'll put Glenn Cross. So it'll be, uh, oh, Glenn Cross is already there. There's another two-way forward we can put up here. Uh, Erne. Erne McMillan. Huberto. Let's not put Huberto. Let's put in another two-way forward of uh, Moss. And we're just going to put Erne there. So it'll be Gormley, Ekman, Larson, Yandel, Summers. That sounds about right. Uh, Three-man PK. Let's just let uh, Shifley lead the charge of Yandel and Summers. Shootout. It should be Huberto, Yakupov. Let's put in Shifley. I think I'm saying that name right. And then, um, Yakupov. Okay, so we need to put in another person. Let's put, uh, Shifley, like I said. Here we go. This is the one I need to put in. It'll be, um, hmm. Do you like Danny Briere? Yeah, Danny Briere. And then, um, Denny, my favorite player. Denny Urban. And actually, no, we're not going to put in, uh, Briere, because this is the last year. I think he's going to retire. So let's put in Smithson, because Smithson deserves it. I really like Smithson. And then let's go to Portland to see who do we got. Um, we have Mike Vincitini. He's not getting better as of now, but this is his last year on our on our um, payroll. So we, hopefully he gets better enough so we can grab him. C. Rawlings is at 75. Ugh, I don't like him. Do we have another player we can bring up? No, we don't. We don't have another goalie right about now. But we do have Nylander, so our first line will be Lesio, Samus, and Nylander. Um, I think I already went over this last episode, I feel like. Kapanen deserves to be here. Reichel can be here. Um, there. Yeah, that'll work. Defense should be Honka and uh, Clausen. Right? No. I think that'll be good for right now. Not really, I don't really pay attention that much to uh, the AHL, but hopefully this will work out in the long run for us, boys. Um, I want to see if we can get a good first-round draft pick. Uh, how many people... Does it say on contracts how many people we have signed? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 18 there, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 1, so that'll be 18. So we don't have a lot of players. Um, I feel like we can add, let's see if we can add someone. I haven't checked free agents out this year, so uh, let's see if we have any good potential out there. Uh, we don't. Do we have any good shooting people? Juneland. No. Anyone with good uh, senses? Four and a half. Puck skills. No. Skating. No. Defensive. Here we go. Micah Limebuzz. Really good defenseman. Uh, Jane, Jordan Nolan. Any good goalies? Let's see. Um, not that I see it, actually. Yeah, no, I don't see anybody. Alright, let's see who's upcoming free agents for us. Uh, 
Applicator, any... Because we had Jacob Vorchek, David Bax, Thomas Peklinek, Kopitar, Stahl, Ladd, Versteeg, Kessler, Parento, Perron, Lucic. Ooh, we could grab like a Milan Lucic left wing. Ooh, that would be nice. Um, There's not a lot of people I can see. Jason Vorchek is the player, the B though. We have a uh, Spursion. See, I might pick up like a Spursion type player. Any goalies that are good? No, not really. Well, Cam Ward and Schneider, but Dubnik and uh, I don't see anyone really that great as a goalie. So, oh well. All right. So let us continue. Let us actually sim some games here. So let's go through preseason as of now and uh, see how we do. Your DM red has dropped. Oh, thanks, man, because I made some really bad trades, apparently. I am so sorry for that, but um, we'll make it up. So right now we have Denny Urban with two goals leading the charge. Ooh. Whoa. All right, boys. We are... I know this is preseason and all that, and I totally forgot to change something before I did it again. Of course. I forget to do this. Because I did a test run of this, and I totally forgot halfway through again. Injuries are on, and so no rotating goalies are on also. So injuries off, and then we have to do rotate goalies on. All right. Hopefully this works now. Um, let us see here. So we have Matt Shelfy and then Dan, um, Erne, Adam Erne leading. Urban has the most plus minus. That's nice. I kind of want to see how Denny Urban ends up. Um, I know he's not going to get any better, but I want to see if his trade value ever goes up. Maybe. You never know. Like Nobody knows about him. But let's see. Uh, it's a little bit weaker than normal. Yes, I agree to that. It's a little weaker. I checked it out, like I said. That's mostly the reason why I traded to um, Dallas, because I saw Dallas had the f one of the first overall picks. I want to see if that actually works, because I kind of want a first overall pick. <laughs> But you never know how it works. All right, boys. Let us. I'm gonna sim the first game, and then we're gonna do the sim, like the fast sim, of the next nine. I want to see if uh, this causes us to do better. I have no idea. It's just a little like weird thing, like how people open um, packs on YouTube. But let's see. First period, zero zero. Thirteen shots to four. All right, our defense is staying there. Let's go. Second period. All right, two nothing. Justin Williams on Vokun, and then Fraser on Vokun. Why is Vokun playing in the first game of our season? It's beyond me, and how the hell do they have Justin Williams? They must have signed him. All right, let us see here. Hopefully, oh, there we go. Gormley scored on Ramo. All right, can we score some more? There we go. Kutenskov scored on Ramo. Okay, we're making a comeback here, boys. Just saying, we lost. All right, good game. Good job for them. We had 40 shots on goal. They, they had 13. Vokun, what have you been smoking, dude? Oh my god, alright, alright. There's a good thing Vokun is my backup, but here we go, let's see our goals. We have Gormley scoring with Huberto and Kuntzkov the assisties, and we have Kuntzkov scoring with Yakupov and Huberto as the assisties. Perfect. Uh, it was a tough fought, loss first game, but let's see how we do in the next nine. So there's three, there's another three, there's that, and we're going to go to Monday the 2nd. Let us see if we can do any better. Lenner, you better be starting for us, boy, because <laughs> that is not good. Uh, Vokun does not deserve the start. All right, boys, let's see how we do against the San Jose Sharks. Can we beat them? Yes, we did. We beat them 5-1. to one. Nice, nice, nice. With Yakupov and Huberto leading the charge like always, then we just lost that. Huberto and Yakupov leading the charge <sighs> like always. All right, let's see if we can beat Nashville. Can we beat Nashville? And we do, yes, we do, five to two, two to five. And Yakupov, the uh, hat trick, it looks like. Now he has five goals. How about, can we beat the Blues? Yes, we can, 6-1. Wow, we are some goal-scoring machines right about now. That's amazing. Let's see if we can continue on with this little, uh, I don't know, goal-scoring streak. No, we lost to Winnipeg. The guy we just traded for two, two to one. All right, at least they're close. I mean, they're only like one game or two game apart. We just won there, five to three. Not bad. I am done with that trip to Russia. I didn't ask you to go to Russia, but um, let's see. Is there any goalies? 
Um. Huh. Let's let's do on goalies for the WHL right about now. Um, just for one, I want to see if there's any good goalies out there. You never know. Like we need another backup for Robin Lenher, just in case if that um. Why do I always forget his name? The kid in the minors. I forgot his name. Like always, uh, he's probably mad that I keep on forgetting his name. But it's such a long, weird name that's really forgettable to me because he's not. I just he's not known in my opinion. So we'll see how he does. But we need to get another rookie goalie just in case he does not pull through. If he does, great, and we can trade that prospect but for another good pick next later on in the year. Speaking of later on in the years, I uh, plan only to do this for 10 seasons as of now. If you guys want me to continue with this season, let me know. Um, I also think about doing a new team entirely after these 10 seasons and start over as a new, getting new players, not getting the players I've had in this season. But uh, we'll see. I mean, it's all up to you guys, whoever watches this. All right, so in 10 games, we have Yakupov leaving the score with 18 points. Wow. Then we have Kutenskov with 16 points. Huberto with 15, then Erne with 8, Shelfie with 6, Glencross with 4, McMillan with 3, and then uh, all these guys right down here. Chapur hasn't done anything for us. All right. Let us see how our defensemen are doing. Gormley with 12. Ooh, wow. Ekman Larson, 9. Yandel with 2. Urban, Summers, and Stone. Okay, Urban, you had a good tran chance in the preseason. I don't know what happened. And then how are goalies doing? All right, all right. Volkun's not doing that bad, actually. He gave a he has a 1.3 goals against average. All right, all right. Now let's see about AHL. See how they're doing. Um, hopefully Nylander's kicking butt like always. Nylander's gonna be a right wing sniper behind Yakupov on that second line. And uh, let's see if he's acting like it. So first seven games, we have Reichel leading charge with six. Okay, Reichel, Kirby Reichel should be around and helping us next year. It looks like he'll be NHL ready. Then we have Nylander. Kapanen, Samuelson, Lesio, and then going down the list like always. Let's see about Honka. Yes, Honka, offensive defenseman, perfect right now. And then what about goalies? Vincenton, you're not doing so hot, man. Um, you got to pick it up, man. You're only two and four with a 320 uh, goals against. But we'll see. Let's see about team standings now. So currently we are in fifth place with our points. And how is Dallas? Dallas is 12th right now. All right. And hopefully that plays off that trade. Anyways, let's see. So there's two. There's four. There's seven. And here's another ten. Let us sim up to the next ten games. 